Jeff Fischel here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. One of the biggest questions for any ACC school heading into the 2014 football season, the quarterback situation at Miami. Joining me now via Skype, Matt Porter does a great job covering the Canes for the Palm Beach Post. All right, Matt, give me the breakdown right now. Who do you see leading right now at the quarterback position for the Canes? Well, they're, you, you would say that there are co-leaders right now. Fifth-year senior Jake Heaps and true freshman Brad Kaya. Right now, I have to give the edge to Heaps because he brings so much experience to the table. Now, Kaya, just from what I've seen, and I've watched pretty much every minute of practice so far for the first week and a half, Kaya's more talented, really tall, about six foot four, throws a really nice ball, has been making those wild throws that you don't see from any other contender for, for the quarterback spot here. But Heaps is a veteran. This, this is on his third, this is his third school, um, you know, BYU and Kansas and now Miami. You can look at that as a negative, but that does to me show that he has the experience. He started plenty of games and to ask a true freshman to go up there in Louisville on Labor Day night, national TV, crazy crowd, all that stuff to ask a true freshman to do all that. That's asking a lot. Do you get the sense though, that Al Golden is getting more and more comfortable, at least with the possibility of starting a true freshman, at quarterback? I think he likes what he sees. He's not tipping his hand. We should get that out there. He, he's, he's given no indication, you know, that he likes either one over the other. Uh, I've asked him the question before a bunch of different ways. You know, do you see anything with Kaya that shows you that he wouldn't be able to handle that stage? And he says, absolutely not. Now, if you had to go with Kaya, they might not be in that bad, in that bad of shape. But I think you want to go with the veterans. You brought up Ryan Williams. He's, of course, this X factor. Al Golden can't even know for sure if he'll come back or if he does when. How much is that going into the decision? It's, it makes it really interesting to cover it, I'll tell you that much, because, you know, he, he wants this more than anything. This is his last go around. And Williams is kind of lurking there. The, everybody's, you know, being really supportive of each other. But, you know, you wonder when Williams is ready to come back, what's the decision going to be for Al Golden? Williams looks really good. He's been in 11 on 11 action. Um, you know, hasn't really rolled out under pressure, but he has rolled out, which is noteworthy considering that's how he tore his ACL in the spring on an, uh, an uncontested rollout. He's been able to do that. He's been able to plant, make a couple throws. This is a guy that he was a two year backup. He knows the offense better than any quarterback on the roster. And him coming back, I think, makes Canes fans and the Canes and, and everybody down here feel pretty good about where the Canes offense is. Jay Keeps, is, he is, still hasn't thrown a pass in a Miami uniform, and Ryan Williams has shown that he can do the job. So it's going to be interesting when Williams is uh, ready to come back, let's put it that way. Now, it's hard for, I think, most Canes fans to believe, considering where we were just a few months ago, but we're not even talking about Kevin Olsen. What has happened with the guy who we thought would be the heir apparent when Ryan Williams went down with an injury? Yeah, really falling off, and bunch of factors contributing but you know really he he admitted it over the summer he didn't really come to work in his red shirt year he didn't make the most of it he didn't come in with that killer attitude that i'm going to be the starter you know until they take it away from me type of attitude he didn't show that and ever since then he has a, a you know a guy that comes in with a lot more hype than brad kaya recruiting wise anyway from analysts comes in with a lot of hype and he hasn't really battled in camp he, he really hasn't you know got the reps he says that he's making his reps count but I just don't, don't see it right now. And you, you wonder if he's going to be long-term for this program. Maybe it would be better if he went to another program, got a fresh start somewhere else. All right, Matt Porter from the Palm Beach Post. Thanks. Great job covering the Canes all season long. You can follow him on Twitter at Matty Ports. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.